Former NFL player Kellen Winslow Jr. will be sentenced to 14 years behind bars for sexual offenses against five San Diego women. Today, he changed a plea and agreed to that sentence in a virtual court setting. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is at the courthouse with the details. This plea modification ensured that Winslow will spend more than a dozen years behind bars. But when the judge initially asked Winslow if he agreed to the terms, there seemed to be some lingering questions. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Oh, yes, ma'am. In this grainy court video, you can see Kellen Winslow II dressed in blue and looking calm despite being convicted of sexual offenses involving five North County women. It was supposed to be the beginning of Winslow's second trial after a jury could not decide whether or not he had raped a hitchhiker in 2018. Instead, the former NFL player changed his guilty plea from a sexual battery count to assault with intent to commit rape, ultimately agreeing to 14 years behind bars. You understand that by entering into this plea agreement, you're giving up the possibility of being sentenced to 12 or 13 years. Do you understand that? I do. During the course of his first trial, Winslow was convicted of multiple sex crimes, including raping a homeless woman and exposing himself to another that same year, as well as touching himself in front of an elderly woman. At one point on Friday, Winslow, who also bears the same name as his father, a former San Diego Charger, seemed to question whether he should agree to a deal or move forward with another trial. If I was to go to trial, would I get an actual jury of my peers that uh, uh, people of color that would look like me. After a short recess, Winslow agreed to move forward with the plea deal, but his lawyer had one final request for the judge, asking him if his client would be allowed to get a haircut before his sentencing next month. The jail does what they want to do. Uh, I will suggest that they give him a haircut prior to the next hearing. And then we'll see how he looks on March 3rd. If Winslow had gone for a second trial, he could have faced anywhere from 12 to 18 years in prison. He will be officially sentenced to 14 years behind bars on March 3rd.